It's a, a different in many ways relationship, but a very special relationship and, and a special kind of love that they have for you and you have for them. And, and you need to be there for them. If you can't change your grandchildren or change your children's attitude, you can pray that they will change. So that was, that was one major thing that I'll take away. Love and prayer, the foundation of any good Catholic relationship, were the two key takeaways from this unique workshop. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. More than 100 seniors gathered at St. Albert the Great for the comprehensive seminar on how grandparents can evangelize their grandchildren. It's like, what did I do wrong? These kids don't go to church. They don't send the grandkids to church. You know, what's what's going on here? More reason for us grandparents and parents as well to keep our children and grandchildren on the path of holiness. We're losing them. The packed room became a comfort to many who realize that they're not the only ones who see the growing loss of faith in their families and want to know how to fix it. That sends the message that the grandparents of the world, we care and we're worried about our grandchildren going off the path into sin. There's a lot of other people out there in the same situation. You're not in, no, in that boat alone. The seminar provided insight into the mindset and challenges youth face today, especially with the onset of the pandemic and growing uncertainty of the world events. They don't trust big institutions. They trust individual people. As Father Damien said, they trust you. This is the period of time when they're really making you know, their own ideas about how the world works. This is really important for us to know. This is the loneliest generation. While evangelizing the Catholic faith, speakers shared the importance of seniors meeting their grandchildren where they are, just as Jesus did. So not to push the faith on them, but to be at their side and help guide them. We accompany them, we journey with them, we pray with them. Grandparents learned how to share their own story of their walk with Christ, ask questions, and the vital importance of listening in order to build trust. I think it's good for the, the kids to know about us when we were younger and what our history is and how our faith life started. Once you've heard their story, you could share your story. Building new traditions and practicing the faith, like walking around a prayer garden in their backyard, can help cement a love for prayer at an early age. New traditions are a small step many said they would start implementing. I like the idea of having some little ritual thing in the house, maybe a holy water Fount as, as they walk in, or have a little album with uh, like the parish that I was baptized and so on, and my wife, because that really is a part of our faith life. The workshop not only gave these seniors important information on sharing the faith, but also reminded them of the special role they have as grandparents and mentors for all members of the church. It kind of refreshes and renews your your faith. It. Uh, makes you realize what an important role you have as a grandparent. And we become grandparents not just for our, our own grandchildren, but all of the, the children in the parish. We have had um, parents come up to us and say, my children have no grandparents. I would love if you would pray for them. Pray for us. That workshop was one of four in the Diocese of Cleveland, and it included mass celebrated by Father Ferentz. Every senior our EWTN team talked to there said they loved the workshop and that they learned a lot. The Diocese of Cleveland shared a large number of resources with participants, which we're sharing with you on our EWTN News In Depth Facebook page. The links will be pinned at the top of our Facebook page for a week for your convenience, and then you'll be able to find them in the regular feed.